guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are gonna try on all six of the Alter Eagle Matte Liquid Lips. I was sent this in PR, but I'm so excited to give this a try. Hopefully this will be a great liquid lip formula. The two that I really love the most are gonna be the Nasty Woman Liquid Lips. Like those are the best liquid lips I think I've ever tried, along with Jeffree Star Liquid Lips and Manny Emuays. Oh, these are amazing. So I'm definitely excited to give this a try and don't mind the makeup look. I'm currently filming another video and well, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so Alter Ego was so kind enough to send me their entire liquid lip collection, which I'm so excited to try out. Uh, they are doing so great. They're literally rolling out with so many products. They just rolled out with lashes. They're rolled out with an eyeshadow base. They're rolling out with eye brushes and now liquid lips. Like they are literally, they are coming and I freaking love it. So these liquid lips do retail for $6 a piece or you can pick up the entire collection for $28. Now I do have a discount code with Alter Ego. It is now switched over to Dawson 10. Um, I figured it'd just be easier because there is another YouTuber here called Allie Glines and she has the exact same discount code as me because she does work with them. So I just thought it'd be a lot easier if we just use my last name. So it's no longer gonna be Allie 10, it's just gonna be Dawson 10 and it'll save 10% off your entire order which and I'll have everything linked down below. But I'm so excited because Alter Ego was so kind enough to send me their entire liquid lip collection and I'm so freaking proud of them. Um, I am actually wearing an eyeshadows from them, an eyeshadow, I am actually wearing lashes from them right now. This is the Posh Lash. My favorite is the Amore Lash, but I really do like these Posh Lashes. And I'm sorry for like the half done makeup, but I'm currently filming another video right now. But this is like a perfect time because I like doing liquid lip swatches on bare lips and on a bare face because when it gets everywhere, it's easy to clean up than doing it when you have a full face. So <laughs> this is exciting. Um, I like how they actually labeled their products. It's like Lily Jealousy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think it's really cool. There seems to be a lot of deeper tones in collection more than a lot of warm tones. I don't know how I feel about brown liquid lips. I've never really been a fan of brown liquid lips, but I'm always open to giving things a try. Um, I really do like the packaging. The packaging is just a simple black alter ego, but it's really soft. Like it's a very, very soft pack Packaging and the actual style itself is really cute. It does look a lot like Lunar Beauty's um, look at lip formulas. Let me show you. So this is Lunar Beauty's um, Witch Wicked Bitch right here, and this is Ultra Ego. You guys can see how these two are very, very similar in style. The only difference with Lunar Beauty, it does have a diamond on tap. It's a signature style for Lunar Beauty, and then Ultra Ego just has a very, very classic, nice little like cylinder, not cylinder, uh, rectangle style with a really pretty, I mean, it's nice and like, it, it looks just really, it's a really pretty symbolistic styling. I really do like that, but it does just remind me a lot of this right here. So that is something to take note. Um, Alter Ego is an affordable uh, makeup brand where they do tend to get inspiration from other brands. And I used to be very, very against uh, kind of like copycat brands, but ever since I tried out their formula and how well it freaking works, I'm like, <laughs> sign me up because if I can literally pay a third of the cost for the exact same um, payout, you can best believe I'd rather pay that because I'm a cheap ass bitch, so. Alrighty, so this is all the liquid lips right here. Here, like I said, these do retail for six dollars a piece, so you guys can buy the entire collection for twenty-eight dollars. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of liquid lips. I've made that very clear. I've never been the biggest fan of liquid lips. I'm a much more of a gloss girl. But when I tried out the Nasty Women Cosmetics, which I actually did a whole video on, and I'll link right over here, um, I really, really fell in love with that liquid lip formula. I think it's the most comfortable liquid lips I think I've ever put on my lips before, and they're so beautiful and pigmented. Um, I want them to branch out their color range a little bit more because some of the colors that I had were just very like, not the exact colors that I would necessarily go for, but they were so comfortable. And they're they were more comfortable than Jeffree Star Cosmetics and my Lunar Beauty. And that says a lot because I wear my Lunar Beauty Aphrodite Look Lip. It's my red one, it's my go-to. I wear that all the time and it's even more comfortable than that. So I'm really, really hoping that these can compare because if they do, these are $6 and that's so freaking amazing. Because I remember Nasty Women Cosmetics was $18 and these are six, so that's freaking good. All right, so the first color we have, this is gonna be Jealousy. I'm gonna go in order of the number on here. So this one's Jealousy, and it is this little bad boy right here. Super cute. I wonder if it has any smell to it. Small little dome applicator. Hmm, oh, that is really beautiful. 
That is Jealousy right there. It has a smell to it, but I can't place the smell. Let me go ahead and swatch it on my lips. The smell, it's not like it's a very sweet smell. I don't know how to describe the smell of it, but it has just the faintest hint of a smell. Very, very tiny. Other than that, it doesn't smell like anything. Um, so far, it being on the lips, it feels like, like a chapstick. It feels like a chapstick. Now this is a really beautiful color. I wanna say it's like a, like a mauve brown is what I'm looking at right here. But it's definitely drying down. It took a second for it to dry down, but it still has just the tiniest, tiniest little shine to it. Not too bad. Let's see what... So on the website it says, let's plump your lips with our new range of six Ultra Eagle Matte Liquid Lips. Long lasting and vivid, these matte liquid lips were made to deliver a gorgeous plush matte finish with their unique lightweight formula. Reveal your true temptations with either with help of either crush, jealousy, infamous, intrigue, euphoria, and vanity. Now they do have afterpay available on their website, but you have to spend over $35 to qualify for it, which I think that's just fantastic because I live and breathe afterpay. Um, I could definitely say it is very comfortable on the lips. It does feel like I'm wearing um, something, but it just feels like I'm wearing chapstick. Like I can, I could feel it on my lips, but it just feels like a smooth chapstick, if that makes any sense. I wonder if it's kiss proof. So you can see there's a little bit of transfer right there. I don't know if it's because I didn't let it dry down full enough, but there is just a tiny, tiny bit of transfer. Let's do the straw test. Very, 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 very little goes on the straw like the teeniest teeniest tiny bit but i could definitely say it's, it's very comfortable okay it passes my weird face test so it's actually really nice i like that it's very very comfortable and it came off rather easy with wake up my wake makeup wipe okay that's nice all right, what is number two? Two is Intrigue right here. The packaging is very deceiving because I'm not sure what color these are gonna be until I actually look down. This looks like it's gonna be like a, like a caramel color. Let's find out. So this is Intrigue right here. I know, I do the most intriguing swatches. Okay, so this is Intrigue right here. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the color. It is very, very much like a caramel brown, and I'm not in necessarily to those colors, but you know who would love this color so much? Chrissy Harless. Chrissy would literally love this color. This color would be so freaking perfect for her. I'm gonna have to send it to her. I'm gonna have to buy her one and send it to her. Um, because she really, really liked this color. It's just not really a color for me, but again, it is still extremely comfortable on the lips. I do wish that they had more of a bigger shade range because I really love like nude lips, uh, pink mauve lips, beautiful red, like bold lips. And who knows? I don't know what else is in here. I haven't fully dived right into the, com to the collection, but this is a really comfortable lip. It's just not something that I would necessarily gravitate to. Maybe at the beginning of fall, maybe depending on the look. It's not horrible on me, but it's like, it's just, it's brown and I'm just not, I'm not used to that. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry, but my lips are going to freaking kill me. I, the only thing I don't like about doing lip swatches is how much, um, it bothers my lips because I constantly wipe them off. And so in between I have to use my, um, Truly Beauty like butter lip because, ooh, all right, so the third one is infamous right here. Ooh. Okay, now this is very, very reminiscent of Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood. That's pretty. We have to definitely get this a try. Okay, so this is infamous right here. This looks a lot, a lot like Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood. Like, truly, they look a lot alike. And I'm sorry, but this is a really beautiful color. This would be perfect for the fall season. And I believe this did come out before, right after the holidays actually, I think. And this is just a really beautiful color. I really do enjoy it. And um, it's very, very comfortable on the lips. Very comfortable on the lips. But yeah, this is, looks just like Unicorn Blood. I think it might be just a shade, just a little bit darker, but this is a beautiful deep burgundy that would make any like dark smoky eye look just in your face. Oh God. <laughs> I should just I should just do the rest of you like this. 
Oh, yeah. okay. okay, number four is Euphoria right here. See, it's the only thing like Euphoria, it looks like a brown color. It looks like a brown shade, but then you look at here, it doesn't necessarily match the shade on the box. That's 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 deceiving a little bit. Because I'm like, oh, this is gonna be like another brown shade. But when you actually look at the product, it doesn't look brown. So I'm like, okay, is it is it not brown? What is it? Yeah, see, look, it's not brown. This is like definitely like more of a nudie light mauve. It's just very, very confusing. I feel like that's something that they need to, they need to work on is their labeling of it because these two are com two completely different shades. Like, that's so different. This will look more like it's number two right there. This looks more like, like Intrigues shade than it does Euphoria shade. That would be confusing. Okay, so this is Euphoria right here. This is more of a like light mauve color. This is more of an everyday wear. This is something that I will gravitate to every single day. I wouldn't necessarily wear it alone. I put a gloss on top of it because you guys know I love my glosses. But this is a color that I'm talking about. This is something that I would definitely wear every single day. It's more of that light pinky mauve color. This is more of a mauve brown and this is gonna be more of just a mauve in total. And I really do love mauve lips. It's just, I think the, I think the shade is just a deep, like a shade darker than my natural lips. So this is something that I would definitely go for and I really, really like this color. Actually, a lot. Okay, the fifth one is Vanity right here. And once again, they, I mean, they kind of line up a little bit, but tis confusion. All right, let's try Vanity right here. Ooh, this could be like a, oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. That is a red. Ooh, I'm excited. Now this. This is a red. This is a gorgeous red. Now I did put on two coats because when you put on the first coat, it's a little bit lighter, but I want to go a little bit deeper, like blood red and ooh, like I mean, it even makes my teeth look whiter. I am in love with this color. Vanity, this is gonna make me freaking vain. <laughs> You're so vain. That's what it reminds me of. This is a really gorgeous color. See, that's it just, it's so confusing because when you look at the packaging, it doesn't show that it's like really red there. It looks like a deep brown. That is something that I feel like they definitely need to work on is the, just like the shades on here. It only really matters though if you're buying the product in store. Online, I guess it wouldn't really matter, but if you're buying it in store, you wanna make sure you know exactly what color you're getting for. So I tend to look at the stickers, but sometimes the stickers doesn't always match the shade in here. But this is so pretty and it's so comfortable in the lips. Very, very comfortable. It just feels like I'm really wearing a very, very hydrated chapstick. That's exactly how this feels, like a very hydrated chapstick and it dries down to be so beautiful. Normally I'd like to, like I said, have a little bit of shine, but with my reds, I love to have, oh, there goes the butthole lips. Ooh. Oh my God, I could do that all day. But normally I like to have like a very glossy lip, but this is, this is, this is a color. Ooh, I love that one. And what I love is that these come off so easily with the makeup wipe. Like, so easy. All right, and the last one is front, the last one is Crush right here. This looks like it'd be like a light pinky color. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that is really pretty. That is Crush. And this is Crush right here. This is like a really like pink coral color. This is absolutely beautiful. And I feel like it's a little bit shade, like, might be a little bit too corally for me, but I definitely could play it up and play it down if I mix like on different like uh, glosses on top of it, but it's really, really pretty. And it just, like I said, it's so confusing from like the packaging, just because when you look at these colors right here, they just don't necessarily line up with the actual products. So that is the only downfall I have to say about this. But when you actually look at this products in here, like they are so freaking pretty and they're so comfortable. I cannot wait till they broaden their range and they add more colors to it because right now they do have pretty much the new the colors that everybody would go for. They definitely have like their every day color which I really can appreciate that a lot so this is really nice so um, let me go ahead and put on the rest of my face guys and I'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts so I will be right back all right guys so this is the final look this is nothing new you guys I just saw this just the other day but I did go in with the uh, vanity liquid lip right here I think it is so beautiful yes do I have but holy lips yes I do but is it so comfortable on the lips? Oh my God, it's so comfortable on the lips. It's like, like I said, wearing a hydrated um, chapstick. It is so stunning, it's so mattified, but it doesn't feel drying on the lips. That's the thing I hate about matte look lips is how drying it feels, but this just like, look at it. I may not be perfect, cause I'm not perfect and I can't always get my lips to look perfect, but damn. It is a very, very stunning color. Like I wish you guys can see what it looks like in person because oof, in person it's just like, 
It's that beautiful deep red that I love and I really really think this is a gorgeous lip and I really cannot wait to see what else this brand rolls out with. Um, I definitely can say that my favorite color was the Vanity and I really also liked Foria as well. I probably will stay away from Intrigue just because it is a brown shade and like I said I think it's something that Chrissy Harless might really get into but I really do like these sets overall. I mean they really kind of cater to everybody. They try to make I guess they, I think they, they try to create like the basic shade range that anybody can use and I just, I definitely feel like the packaging is a little bit misleading because you don't really, like it looks like a different shade in the bottle when you actually see it on your hand and on your lip, it's a completely different feel. So you have to just know that. I'm sure the pictures on the website don't necessarily do justice either. Like you could look at someone's lip and just because it looks this way, I mean, it does not necessarily translate the same way it's gonna look for you, but it is like the feel of it. Um, like I said, because like Vanity, it looks like so much different in the bottle when you actually wear it, you're like, oh, okay, that's how it looks. So I really do like that. Like I said, these are $6 a piece, or you can buy the entire set for $28. That is freaking fantastic. Like, so freaking good. And like I said, I do have a code with them. It is code Dawson10, where you guys can save 10% off your purchase. I will have that link down below. And honestly, I cannot thank Ultra Ego enough for sending these my way. You guys know how much I love the brand. I love supporting the brand. They're so sweet. They're so kind. And I really 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 like working with them and uh, I really do like these liquid lip sets they are absolutely fantastic they're super cute packaging is cute and simplified and the, the lips just they speak for themselves you guys can see like how comfortable they are on the lips and I just I really really am enjoying the feel of it because it just feels like a chapstick and I really like that so thank you so much Alter Ego and uh, yeah guys that is it for today's video if you guys like this video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post three to four videos a week also, make sure you guys head on over to my other channel. It is R for the Life. You guys can see my cool, wonderful adventures with amazing fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye! Time for a thumbnail for so many different videos. I have a special... No, I do not. Ah, okay. So I...